Hello, piggy people. Today I'm going to share with you my personal five top reasons why I find guinea pigs difficult to care for. So these are my personal opinions. I want to hear what you find the most difficult when it comes to caring for guinea pigs down below in the comments. Number one, guinea pigs are extremely messy. So I spot clean twice a day and do full cage cleans twice a week. And it's a lot of work. So they poop and pee everywhere and the hay gets everywhere. Even when I tried to do different hay racks or hay boxes, etc., I still found that hay would end up absolutely everywhere. So I do a combo of a hay box and a hay pile. And even when you start in one nice neat pile, by the end of the day, it's all over the place. It's a lot of tidying up to do. And you really have to kind of stay on schedule to make sure that you're maintaining a healthy environment for them. Number two, I find guinea pigs to be illness prone. So I've had guinea pigs for over 11 years. And over the 11 years, I've seen just about everything. It is always so random what can happen with one guinea pig. You might have one pig who has no health issues for their entire life. One pig who just keeps getting health issue after health issue. And it's extra difficult, I find, when you have lots of guinea pigs. And when you get guinea pigs from unknown situations, unknown backgrounds, which is what I get my pigs from. So you never know what you're getting into, whether they're inbred, haven't been looked after, have had a horrible diet before coming to you, etc. But I find there is a lot of things that they can get. And it's very challenging when they do have an issue to get them right and to make it okay. Number three, I find it challenging to get the perfect balanced diet. So there's lots and lots of varying opinions of what is best for guinea pigs. So I try to do my best with them. And along the way, I've had guinea pigs who have gotten bladder stones, which seems to be a big issue that could be related to diet, but also genetics. But I always find I am forever feeling like, oh, maybe I could be doing something better. Maybe I should switch to this pellet. Maybe I should switch this vegetable out. Maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to do that. I find it's really difficult to feel satisfied that you're doing the best possible diet plan for them that you can. So I am forever changing and tweaking things and I just do what I can do. Number four, dealing with super shy, timid, skittish guinea pigs can be quite the challenge. Now don't get me wrong, I enjoy the challenge and I love all my guinea pigs the same, but I'm going to be honest, there are some times where it can be quite frustrating when a guinea pig is just taking forever to get used to you and make simple tasks a little bit more of a pain. So sometimes it's really challenging just to pick them up, to do nail clipping, or to do health checks, or to give them medications. You never know what you're going to get with a guinea pig. Everybody has a different personality. I find males and females, it doesn't matter. It's all individual to the pig, whether they're going to be tame or not tame, and you have all varying degrees in between. But sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating if you have a bunch of guinea pigs who are quite nervous and just seem to take forever to come around. Number five, this is my most challenging aspect about owning guinea pigs. Now it could be my fault because I have more than the average, but I really feel stuck to the house. Meaning I feel like I can't be gone anywhere for an extended period of time because the guinea pigs need me. And now don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the guinea pigs. I love being needed. But there are a few times where you're kind of like, yep, I can't do that because I've got a huge responsibility at home and the pigs need me and rely on me. So whether it be if I wanted to go on a vacation or be gone for a couple days, I can't. And I cannot ever find anybody who would look after the guinea pigs that I would trust and would be able to look after them how they need to be looked after. Every morning they've got to get tidied up. They've got to get their waters checked, get more hay, be fed their veggies. Some pigs might need medication. 
and the whole process starts over again in the evening. Right now, my time is really consumed with making sure the two girls who have abscesses, that it's cleaned out, that they've got their antibiotics, that they've been given a pain med if needed. And then on top of that, you have cage cleaning nights. You need nail clippings. You need to give baths, or maybe you need to do health checks. There's so much to do when owning them because they're totally dependent on you for everything. And that can be the most challenging thing and sometimes a bit draining. Do I regret having so many piggies? Absolutely not. But you do, uh, I find I sacrifice a lot for the pigs. So it's just something to think about if you're thinking about getting a bunch of piggies. I think it would be much more easy if you had only two pigs. You could probably drop them off at a trusted family member's house to have them looked after. But when you have like, say, 10 or plus pigs, I don't think your average person is going to want to take that on. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!